Hey folks, this is Mike Thomas, health coach, national board certified health and wellness coach. Wanted to take just a few minutes today with you to share with you a little bit about my WLS coaching program, a little bit about myself and potentially answer any questions that you have if health coaching and specifically health coaching with me and my company is something that's interest of you. So a little bit about my credentials. Uh, I'm a registered pharmacist, graduated from pharmacy school about 30 years ago and practiced as a pharmacist for about 10 years. Was in the corporate world for about 30 years and retired four years ago. Uh, recently, I've gone through the Mayo Clinic training program for health and wellness coaches. I've also become board certified uh, in lifestyle medicine through the American College of Lifestyle Medicine. And most recently, as of a few days ago, uh, found out that I passed the boards for national board certification of a health and wellness coach. Uh, what that basically says is that I've gone through the training required and the test and passing, obviously passing the test for becoming a national board certified health and wellness coach. Anybody can say that they're a health coach. They just watch a YouTube video. They read a couple of books. Quite frankly, I did that for a few years before I became trained as a national board certified coach. Um, this gives me a little bit more uh, credentials in the process of what I want to do and help and support my clients. A little bit about my story. Uh, like I said, I retired about four years ago, was feeling some chest pain and was thinking, oh, goodness gracious, there's nothing I can do about this. My mom's side of the family has some pretty unhealthy heart genes. My cholesterol levels were not good. And this gentleman here in the picture on the right, his name is Chris. I used to work with him at uh, my former employer. And he introduced me to plant-based living and said, you know, you actually can stop and even potentially reverse heart disease, which of course caught my attention. So my interest was piqued. I learned about it and then went full boat into plant-based living. Made a lot of mistakes in the beginning, didn't really have a health coach, didn't have somebody to support me. Uh, and I learned a ton that first year. It's now been about four years since I've been plant-based and I'm about 90 to 95% plant-based. A number of, I'm known as the plant guy and a number of my clients come to me to help and support them through the process of converting to plants to the degree that makes the most sense for them. Uh, I don't have any clients that are 100% plant-based. I actually don't know anybody personally that is 100% a whole food plant-based. Ultimately, uh, with my retirement, this really in tune with what I want to do with my future and my purpose to help other individuals to pursue health and wellness and uh, that's pretty much what I've been doing for about four years. And with the training the last year, year and a half, I really feel in tune with that's where I should be in my life. So it really gives me great joy to be able to offer this service. Uh, my program specifically, I want to talk to you about some of the specifics of it. Uh, again, it's health coaching. It's typically initially weekly health coaching. I do offer a group Zoom call, which is typically the first Tuesday evening of the month. Totally 100% optional. I or somebody will talk about a specific topic. It could be about positivity. It could be about plant-based eating. It could be about eating out in restaurants, movement. I mean, there's so many, uh, so many things we focus on and talk about, and I just facilitate conversation to help and support each other. I'm obviously, as a health coach, I'm also a resource, education, information. I've gone through a lot of study books, et cetera, to educate myself, to help and support my clients. So that's something that you could potentially use. Uh, I offer a service of food logs. Uh, it's totally part of the package if that's something that you're interested in. Getting started sometimes front of mind that helps people be intentional about what they fuel their body with. Uh, I can pair you with a buddy. I have a number of buddies that really support each other in the capacity of what they want to do to be more healthy in their lives. Uh, that accountability, that structure, that support is very helpful to them. Ultimately, the program is initially a 12 session commitment. Uh, and I, I feel like, which is typically about three months, typically I, I'll coach for about a, once a week and over the course of 12 sessions, that's going to be about three months initially. Uh, I do use a platform. So the platform I use is called Practice Better. I've been using it now for about six months. It has been extremely helpful to me and my clients. Everything is literally in the app or in the platform that you can have on your phone. It's HIPAA compliant. All the notes that I take that you can see through your app on your phone is there. We do actually video when we have coaching calls through the app. We can chat through the app, which is HIPAA compliant versus actually texting each other. Uh, there's many forms that are on there, which can be signed digitally. 
it's extremely helpful with communication and researching something that we talked about with your knowledge and understanding. You can find it there too. So that's the, uh, that's the platform that I use, which is extremely helpful for me and for my clients. So what is coaching and what it is not? So I'll be honest with you, if you're looking for the gentleman that's on your screen to help and support you, you probably didn't come to the right place because that first and foremost is not my style. And I don't see that as being effective for sustainable change. Ultimately, what you want, I think, in a coach is somebody that's going to care about you, that's going to support you, that's going to hold you accountable respectfully. Uh, also, a coach helps you to find the answers within yourself. Uh, and then you make the decision and degree the change that you want to make. I'm here to help you and coach you and guide you through that process, not necessarily to tell you, hey, here's what you need to do. Here's the program. Uh, follow suit. Toe the line. Let's get this done. So just that's a little bit about my personality as well as uh, how I coach my clients. So what we'll focus on. So we'll focus on any number of things that you feel that can give you better physical wellness, uh, health, mental wellness, too. Primarily, I do focus initially on these six pillars of lifestyle medicine, which you can see on your screen. How are you handling stress? How are you managing stress? Are you eating smarter? Typically, more fruits and vegetables in your life. This isn't about 100% compliance. Are you getting good, adequate, sweet, sweet sleep in your life? Are you connecting with others? It's so incredibly important and transcendent when it does to affect other areas of your life. What are you doing to move more? All movement counts. And are we avoiding risky substances like tobacco and are we not abusing alcohol? That's typically what we focused on initially, but I've really spread out to where I coach some clients in a lot of other areas of their lives as well. I do want to get into the pricing issue. This is something that I basically just looked up on Google before I put this together. You know, most coaches offer two sessions per month. With, that's actually how they usually evolve after several months. And the sessions times range for 45 to 60 minutes, which is actually accurate for me. New coaches, which I am, uh, are starting out charge about $50 to $75 per session. I basically charge $25 per session. The more experienced coaches charge $100 to $200 per session. Uh, I'm not there at all. In fact, where I'm at is $297 for 12 coaching sessions, which is really about $24, $25 per session. You can see on there that I, I get paid typically for most of my clients via Pen Venmo or PayPal. And on the screen, you can see what you get for those services. Uh, we can space that out. You can also pay once a month. I do have some clients that pay me $99 a month, but they commit to the initial 12 sessions, uh, just paying me the, on a monthly basis, which is totally fine as well. Uh, any advice from me? I'd like to just share with you first and foremost that this is about success. And I say success is sustainable behavior change. Everybody can pretty much do anything they, for a few weeks or a few months. For me, I'm looking to help and support my clients so they don't eventually need me to have that sustainable health change, right? Sustainability is the key. Obviously, there's got to be a degree of commitment, which is on the screen as well. Be open to change. Be open to the possibilities of what your coach tells you, as well as what changes you could potentially be making in your life. If you're closed and you've got a closed uh, uh, fixed mindset, it's going to be really difficult for you to change. And then lastly, just know why this is important to you. Why are you taking the time to make this, this change? To, and it's more than just being healthy or being healthier. When you are healthier, what are the benefits that you get in your life? And with those benefits, then what are you able to manifest? Some of the results uh, I'm seeing in my clients, obviously weight loss, the name of my company is called Weight Loss Sustainability. Uh, better body image. This is actually from my clients, lower cholesterols, lower triglycerides, lower blood pressure. I've got to have some, some of my clients have been able to reduce or eliminate some medications, which is wonderful. Uh, more confidence and overall more peace in their lives. They just feel more comfortable with who they are, the decisions they're making on a daily basis. Of course, results will vary and there is no guarantee, uh, but I wanted to share with you with a number of my clients that really get to work and take care of business. So why should I get a health coach? And this is actually the question that I ask my clients when they come aboard, as well as when they finish. Uh, and at the end of this video, you'll see in the description, I do put a couple of other videos if you're interested in looking at those, where I've actually interviewed some of my, uh, currently today, some of my actual clients, right? Usually they say, first and foremost, accountability. Uh, I develop rapport and trust with those individuals. So they have that support from their health coach who really truly listens to them. And a lot of them, it helps them with focus because in our lives, there's so much chaos 
that focus can help us to narrow to get some stuff accomplished. If everything is a priority, nothing is a priority. So the focus is a helpful part for them as well. What is your typical client? So it has, the reason I put this little goofy face on here is because it's literally been from, I've got a number of college students that I've worked with, recent college graduates, middle-aged men and women, and then I've also worked with the elderly. So it has been all over the place. Many of them want to be more healthy in the capacity of losing weight, but some of them just got uh, their cholesterol back, or some of them have just had a heart attack, and they're really coming to me to make some serious behavior change in their life. And they're importance and the sense of seriousness for them is, is right there. So it's all over the place. I do not coach anybody that's less than 18 years old for obvious reasons, but primarily what I'm here to do is help and support that individual to the degree that makes the most sense for them to change that makes happen. Any last comments from Mike? So I like this slide just because there is some heavy lifting. You know, this isn't about paying $297 going through 12 sessions and having a nice, great talk with Mike over the course of 12 sessions. There is work that's to be done uh, primarily by the client, right? This is the coach is the guy to help the support, but nobody's going to care about that person's health more than the client themselves specifically. So uh, I just want to be clear that the commitment needs to be there, obviously, and I'm here to help that individual for what they want to have in results in their life. Uh, thank you so much. Hopefully this wasn't too long for you. I appreciate your interest in hearing a little bit about me, my story, and my program. If you have any questions at all, there's my phone number on the screen. Also my website, which uh, you can take a look at. Feel free to do that. And as I mentioned before, uh, there's some testimonials in the description box of this video on the YouTube that you'll be able to click on. And you can see, I think they're less than 20 minutes, a couple of videos that I made a few months ago of some of my clients. Uh, so Thank you again. Uh, please do not at all feel obligated to get back to me unless you're interested in asking me some more questions uh, or interested in potentially uh, pursuing a relationship where I can, I can coach and support you with, with some behavior change. I put this out really to leverage the technology to save your time as well as my time uh, in, that, in that structure. So last thing, uh, you are potentially interested in making changes in your life right? So whether you get a health coach, which I would recommend or not, uh, I'd like you just to come away from this conversation, uh, hearing from me that I hope you, I wish you the best in your life and be intentional about the change that you want to make. Again, thank you so much.